Today, I wanna to take you through a walkthrough with the iPad mini six, everything that I plan to do with this device. And the reason why I wanna make this video was that I know a lot of you guys are super excited about this device. You think it's super cute, it's the coolest iPad you've ever seen, but you're like, why do I need one? Why should I go and buy one of these things? If I already have an iPhone or I already have a bigger iPad, where does the iPad mini sort of fit? Um, into this shuffle. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through what I plan to do with the iPad mini. This is completely unscripted by the way, so hopefully you guys do enjoy this. First thing that I wanna kind of get out of the way is the main reason why I wanted the iPad mini is for video watching. The iPad Air was great. I loved it, but I always felt it was too big. I, I just, I didn't enjoy holding it with one hand or two hands and watching videos in my room. The iPad mini, however, is a lot smaller, a lot easier to hold. Like this is light compared to this. So that out of the gate, the, the portability of this thing opens a lot of doors for me to wanna use this more like a tablet because I never use my iPad like a tablet. Video watching, if we go to YouTube and we pull up, um, we'll just pull up one of my videos. It's the only iPad that fits like perfectly in the palm of your hand. And I would actually argue that this is the only, and it's pleasant. I mean, like just even right now, my impressions is this is great. Like it's super light to hold this. I love how I can hold this for like an hour on end and it would be easy to watch videos on this. Laying down in bed with this would be awesome as well. Another form factor you can do is if you have the smart folio case, you can pit the iPad like this. I should probably use the iPhone 13 Pro to Demo that for you. So there you go, right there is the form factor of the iPad mini on the smart folio case. It snaps back and it just sort of stands up. I really like it. This is a must have case if you do plan on getting the mini. It just really makes it more versatile. And as you can see, super convenient and just awesome to kind of kick back and relax and watch something as you're eating or whatever you're doing. That's the first use case for me, uh, watching videos. So Disney Plus, Netflix, all of that. So the next thing I plan to really use my iPad mini for is note taking. And I don't take notes like the traditional person. And this is actually very much related to how I create the videos here on my channel. I'm kind of gonna expose myself a bit here. So uh, if we go into Notability here, um, right on the bottom, Notability is my favorite iPad uh, note taking app. And we'll go to my iPad mini six review, for example. So what I like to do is I like to take my scripts and I like to highlight all the points in which I want to do B-roll. And then I take my pencil, and let's say I'm going through and I see this line here, and I'm like, okay, this is a line where I want to show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm gonna do a little B-roll shot. I'll highlight it, put a little box to remind myself to take a shot of it, and then check it off when I'm done. So that's kind of the extent of the note taking that I do on my iPad. I know it's nothing crazy like what you do in school or for work or whatnot, but this has been super awesome for me in my own little niche. It keeps me super organized when I make the videos that you watch here on the channel. But I still want to demo note taking regardless. Just writing on the iPad, so it goes change to a black. We'll make the uh, cursor a little bit thinner. And then We'll lower the brightness a bit. This is actually, I didn't realize how bright the screen was. Hopefully that's still fine for you guys. So just writing in my name here, it feels really nice. Taryn, Rule, like it's super responsive, even doing my, my uh, signature, smiles, like this, this works really well. I know a, a kind of a big complaint is that or a kind of a concern is that the screen is small. Like, well, I really want to use this to do note taking in my class or for work. I think you would. I think you, you would be more inclined than you think because if I get my, my iPad Air and I open up Notability, make a new note, what am I really missing out on here? Um, yes, I, I get a bit more space for my palm. Um, I got to reconnect the pencil here. Okay, so hopefully the pencil is now paired. There we go. So yes, there is more space to write, but I mean, is it really, uh, like do I really feel like I'm missing something here? Not really. I can totally see the appeal of a bigger screen, but if you wanted to save money and you also wanted more portability to take some good notes, I don't think writing on the iPad mini 
is all that bad. I think it's almost, literally almost just as good, if not the exact same. You just have to write a little bit smaller. Um, you can always zoom in and out of your notes as well. So I really don't think taking comprehensive notes in this is, is gonna be an issue. The next key thing that I wanted to use my iPad mini for is actually like just browsing the internet and reading the news. I know that sounds kind of like, like, eh, like I can do that on my phone, I can do that on my computer. But really what I like about doing it on the iPad mini is that its form factor is nothing like your phone. So if I get my iPhone 13 Pro, and I'll put these, we'll put these side by side. I wanna show you guys something really important. As you can see, the news app on the iPad mini has way more information than on my iPhone. The iPhone's really condensed. iPad mini is full of information. It's almost like a desktop like experience. Now, you think to yourself, okay, iPad mini has some chops. What about the iPad Air? This is the most interesting part that I actually discovered earlier tonight is the iPad mini and the iPad Air show the exact same level of information down to the margins. It's just the iPad Air is bigger. So what does that tell us? We get full desktop class like app experiences that you would traditionally get on a bigger iPad Air or iPad Pro and you're getting it on the mini. Like there's no compromises. You're getting the full iPad OS 15 like browsing experience here. Um, another example I could show you is the App Store. This is another great example. Both of these tablets are showing the exact same level of information, but the iPad mini, it's just more comfortable to use because it's smaller. Like I, I'm, I'm drawn to want to use this because I'm not losing out on detail using this and it's lighter and, it, and it's just, it's nice. And, and you know, that's the big thing for me, right? When I want to browse the web, for example, I tried really hard to do that on my iPad as a tablet. I really tried to enjoy it and to kind of go in there and, and try to type the uh, New York Times. And you know, it's really hard to just type this way. And then you can even try, if you try doing it in landscape, it's even more of a pain to kind of type like this. It's just too big. With the iPad mini, however, Typing, it feels like I'm typing on my phone. Like this, this is nice. I don't have to stretch my hands and it's really comfortable to type on this two-handed. And I I mean, I do have, I'd say average above average size hands, they're not too big. Um, but I think people with average size hands would still find this quite comfortable. And even in landscape mode, oh, I have it locked. Um, even in landscape mode, uh, you can, it's just nice, like it's just super nice to type onto this New York Times. Although I actually, now that I'm doing this, you can do landscape and it feels fine as kind of an initial impression, but I, I do think if you're gonna type on the iPad mini, you're better off doing it um, like this. Browsing the web is gonna be beautiful on this. Reading books is gonna be awesome too. Um, I kind of wanted to get more into e-reading. I wanted a, a nice e-reader, to be honest. Like, I always found the iPad Air to be too big. Like, I was always contemplating buying, like, a Kindle. But Apple just kind of stole my money here because with the iPad Mini, it's pretty much, like, pretty small. It's, like, Kindle-like small. I really do plan on downloading more e-books. But, you know, I can demonstrate what it would look like, sort of, with these articles here. You can see that's just what the experience is like. It's very nice. Very compact, you get a lot of information on here, more than what you get on your phone. So, next thing I wanna to demo to you is FaceTime. I actually would just use a video that I shot earlier today, and that's the center stage feature. Center stage is awesome, so you can see the camera follows and pans to keep you center in the frame as you move around. You can't get that on the iPhone, you can't even get that on the uh, bigger iPad Air. It's only available on the iPad Pros and actually the cheaper new iPad that just came out. So I'm super excited about that feature. I think it's gonna make FaceTime a lot more convenient and just video calling in general. So that's another cool thing you can consider with this. And then also, going back to the case, snapping it back this way. Just right there is another demo of the convenience of the smart folio case. Just having it propped up for a video call. Like that's, like that's awesome. And oh wow, look how wide that lens is. That lens is crazy wide. I also do plan to game a little bit on my iPad mini and I wanted to show you guys what some of the gaming looks like. So I was testing out 
uh, asphalt. In this game, this game looks great on the on the new display here. I'll show you, I'll do a little quick demo for you to see. And just look how quick that is. We're already about to start and just get right into the game. That was within a matter of seconds. I'm already in. So A15 Bionic is incredibly quick. So initial impressions, again, this looks great. Um, like, oh. Oh, wow. But, um, yeah, like these, these, these games can be a little bit of fun when you just want to pass the time when you're waiting for a train or something, you know, whatever the, the case is. I never said I was good at gaming, at least not on iPads. Another game I wanted to kind of showcase here um, is NBA. I kind of wanted to show more of the graphically intensive games. Like NBA looked great. When I was playing it earlier today, I was pretty impressed. Um, I mean, it's nothing like playing it on the PS5, but if I'm just a young kid wanting to play 2K and I had an iPad mini, like, not bad. Like, it, it really isn't that bad. Keep in mind, I'm not that good, but the graphics on this look great. Like, I'm uh, playing the Lakers and I clearly suck, and I just, wow, they absolutely demolished me. Uh, this does support PS5 controller support as well. Um, I'm not going to pair it in this video, but you can pair it if you have it. Boom. The music in Tetris is always very nice, and the graphics on this look great. Um, it's very, like, groovy. I'm a groovy kind of guy. That made no sense. <laughs> Oh, I need to sleep. It's like 10.21 and I have work tomorrow, but all I can think about is making you guys iPad videos. Oh, look at that. Oh boy. That looks nice. I did something right. But there you go, that's gaming on the iPad mini. That's another use case that I have for it. Um, I'm pretty excited uh, when I can actually travel again and to make you know make more use of, of, of that kind of feature when I need to kind of kill time. Another thing I wanna show is multitasking. So if I pull up Spotify, for example, and let's say I wanna start playing my favorite song, I'm not gonna actually play a song because YouTube's gonna copyright me, but just imagine I'm, I'm playing a song and we're gonna press the top little button there and then we're gonna go do a little slide over. And let's say I wanna take some notes. So let's open up Notability. And now I have a little Spotify in the corner that I can always browse and change the songs that I wanna be listening to. And then on note, Notability, I can just start taking my notes. What I will say, and I kinda of wanted to do this on purpose, is with the iPad Mini 6, I will admit multitasking in vertical mode is kind of, it sucks. It's not enough space, but in landscape, I think it's perfectly usable. Like if I wrote math 101, like I could very easily, if I make this a little bit smaller, I slide that over a bit more. I can very easily um, take notes in class, in my math class, one plus one equals two. I mean, <laughs> whatever math class you're in where it's one plus one equals two, I mean, anyway, I don't, I, I'm tired, clearly. But yeah, like you can very easily, this is a nice way to um, multitask. It's just a demo of that. Okay, so another use case that I have for my iPads that I actually did all the time with my iPad Air is photo editing. I do a lot of my thumbnail work and just editing photos on my iPad because I find it way more enjoyable. And I'm super excited to be doing this on the iPad mini because of, again, its form factor. It is so tiny and convenient to use. And just by tapping in Lightroom right away, I'm right in the midst of doing my editing. So this thumbnail you're looking at actually was the most recent thumbnail for the iPad mini six review. If you missed that, check it out. It's been posted on my channel already. Um, sometimes I just take pictures in my like, space here and I edit it in Lightroom. Super easy with the Apple Pencil to kind of maneuver the adjustments um, or that there, as you can see, Super, super nice. Like I can literally do anything I want and make any kind of adjustments that I need to to get the best picture possible, even though 
what I just did looks really weird. I have like this almost like hazy looking picture now, but um, I'm just gonna undo all that. But yeah, it's like super pleasant. I think this is my actual favorite thing about iPads is editing photos on it. It's so much more fun than using like a laptop or a computer because you have like that direct finger or pencil interaction with what you're actually editing. Another thing that I can't really demo right now is 5G connectivity. I got 5G on my iPad mini. Um, I bought the cellular version. I just have to get it set it up with my phone plan. So I'm super excited to test that out. I really think it's going to be worth it. It's going to turn this little tablet into the ultimate like portable experience. I know a lot of people will say, oh, you can just tether off of your iPhone, but that kills your battery. It's nowhere near as fast and it's just not convenient. And I think it's going to be really cool to be able to just bring this with me sometimes where I'm going and just bring my Apple watch with me um, and not my phone. I think that's just kind of a cool world to be in right now these days. So another benefit to cellular that people don't really talk about with the iPads is that it actually comes with GPS in there. Like if you buy the Wi-Fi only model, there's no GPS, but the cellular version comes with it. Um, and I think that's super cool um, because I don't have like a, like a smart dash in my car. So I think it'd be super cool to get like a little mount for my iPad mini and prop it in my car and use it for directions when I'm going in long road trips. Typically I would use my phone, but I always find the phone maps to just, it works and it's awesome and many people get, get by using it, but the screen was always really small. And with the iPad mini, there's just so much more real estate there. Um, I think it will be a much more enjoyable experience using this um, to navigate in your car if you get the right uh, stand for it. Also, I should have mentioned, if you guys are curious, I have the Starlight version of the iPad mini. Um, I think it looks great. It's like this off white, silver, gray, beige blend. I think it looks great. I'm a big fan of it. I was really tired of space gray. Um, like I just have space gray everything these days. And I think that it's just a nice different kind of contrast here uh, on the mini. Another fun thing too is quick notes. So if you swipe up in iPad OS 15, you can very quickly pull up a place where you can take notes. And I actually used quick note to build out my first um, kind of review for the iPad mini. I would kind of pop it up and type it in an experience very quick, just in the corner. And that would work really well. Like quick notes has been a super awesome feature for me. And I'm also using it right now to take notes for uh, my iPhone 13 Pro review, which will be coming later. The iPhone is always a harder product to review in my opinion, I don't know why. And that's it, that's my use cases for the iPad mini. It might've seemed a bit repetitive and, and that's kind of the idea here is that it's the form factor. The form factor for this is why I'm super excited and stoked and why a lot of other people are it's just more convenient to get stuff done on something like this because you're still getting, again, like I said, you're still getting the full iPad OS 15 experience. Like you're not, there's no compromises being made on kind of the information being displayed to you. It's the same amount of information, but just more condensed on a smaller screen. I think that's awesome. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's honestly a feature of this is how small it is. Um, this fits in your pocket, this does not. This is so heavy after like half an hour of holding it. This honestly is equally as light as my iPhone 13 Pro and in some cases. Um, so that's why you'd wanna buy the iPad mini. Form factor, ease of use, content consumption, just to enjoy yourself. Like I, don't, I wouldn't really use this to do hard work. Like if I need to do a lot of typing or stuff like that, you don't want to use the iPad mini for that. Um, if I'm doing any kind of video editing, I even mean you can, you can, you can do video editing on the iPad mini. I personally wouldn't. I would prefer a bigger display to be honest with you or, or like a legit computer. Um, but I haven't even touched the surface. There's so much you could do with the iPad mini six. It's just kind of up to you what you want to make of the iPad. It's really within your imagination. And that's what's so great about all of these devices that I have in front of me. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This was just a super non-scripted video. I hope I didn't go too off the tangent here. Drop a like, comment, hashtag iPad mini six if you made it to the end of the video. And I'll catch all of you guys in the next one. Peace.